Hi everyone. I must admit I'm quite new to the world of microcontrollers and I've just been recently, within the last year or so, been getting my hands down and dirty with the Arduino and also bare AVR chips. And some of these chips are the 80 Mega 16, which has many, many pins, as you can see, a lot of memory as well. 80 Mega 8, which used to be the chip that was inside the Arduino. And also the AT Tiny 2313, which has less memory and fewer pins. So these are all well and good to play with, and you can do many, many things with all the pins, and they've got UARTs, um, I2C and SPI, and you can do things very, very easily with them. What happens if you go even smaller? Here are two other chips, the AT Tiny 85 and 13 or 13A. The great thing about them is the 85 is quite cheap, but the 13 is uber cheap. It's super, super cheap. You can get about 10 AT Tiny 13As on eBay for around three or four pounds. And I'm guessing that's probably around five or six dollars or so. So I'm really, really curious as to what you can get up to with just an AT Tiny 13A. So my plan was to give a gift. And I thought the gift would be in a box and the box would be locked with a padlock. And the padlock would be one of those padlocks with a three or a four digit code on and you could twist it and it would unlock. But in order to get the code, I thought first you'd have to solve a puzzle. And I thought you could use the AT Tiny 13 to do this. It's a very simple circuit, not well drawn, not really schematic either here. Is the AT Tiny 13 connected to a battery and two LEDs and the LEDs would blink in a certain pattern. Now, the person who I was giving this to would have to decode the pattern, and it might be, for example, a web address. So once they decoded it and found out the web address, it takes them to a web page, which is also something that I would have written. And the web page on it would have another small little puzzle, which they would have to solve, for example, maybe a fill in the fill in the number Sudoku or, or something like that. And once they'd done that, I think the answer could be in a numeric form in the in the form of maybe a phone number. So this phone number would have been one of my phone numbers, for example, on an old SIM card for a mobile phone. And as they called the phone number, they would have received that automated reply that you get when you can't answer the phone at the moment. And the answer machine would give, in that bit where you record the message, the three or the four digit code. And so you could use that code to unlock it. A bit complicated and a bit over the top, but I thought it would be a cool project to do and also a nice gift to give. This is what I came up with in the end. It's a really, really small circuit. It's just a CR2032 battery, the AT Tiny, two LEDs connected to these ports just here a resistor which connects the other end of the LEDs to ground and also a switch to turn it on and off. So when you flick the switch, LEDs come on and they start blinking. So the pattern I decided to use in the end was Morse code, but I decided instead of having dots and dashes, the longer ones would be the blue LED and the shorter dots would be shown on the white one and this shows a web page so it's just done on protoboard and it's just got some solder blobs on the back and a few hookup wires but yeah i thought it was a really nice small project to do to get me a bit more acquainted as well with avrgcc and it turns out the code not particularly efficiently coded or anything was 250 bytes to flash all this whereas if you wanted to do just blink one led on the Arduino, that would have taken a thousand bytes using the standard Hello World uh, sketch.